Welcome to Titusville, Florida, one of the smaller cities along the Space Coast and the place I call home. I'm Julia Bergeron, NSF's local booster chaser and occasional launch photographer. We're going to take a moment of our stream so I can tell you a little bit about what the space program means to our community and what it has been like since the shuttle program. The year was 2011. Atlantis wheels stop. Constellation canceled. No Buck Rogers in sight. But there was Dave, still selling hot dogs at a very empty Miracle City Mall, just like he had for the past 41 years. Titusville has had ups and downs, and many have to do with the space program. After men walked on the moon and Apollo was no more, the economy took a hit, and it just kept coming with each new program and cancellation. Before Apollo, the economy was blue crabs, mullet, and oranges. After Apollo, every third house was empty. Locals wished it had stayed the way it was before the rockets took over Cape. Even today, there can be bitter feelings from those who had to relocate their homestead when Cape Kennedy needed land and privacy. The city's slogan is launch from here. We see the launch pads with the sunrise a mere 12 miles across the Indian River Lagoon. There is an almost reluctant embrace with space. We have streets named for missiles, astronauts, and orbiters, but we didn't truly develop the area for tourism like Cocoa Beach. Although we are getting a beachwear shop on the way to Playa Linda, so it's starting to happen. We live in a small feeling town with some really big rockets that light up the coast. I moved here in 2016. That's when ULA was doing government and science missions with Atlas and Delta and their families, and SpaceX was finding their way and had just begun to recover boosters. Some pretty exciting things were happening and people started being interested again. The Falcon Heavy launch brought crowds that Titusville was not prepared for. We knew it would be big, but not three hours to get home from the visitors center big. So how did Titusville forget? 135 shuttle missions had launched from here, right? It wasn't that long ago. I mean, really, although it really does feel like it is. Well, after Atlantis landed, about 8,000 pink slips were handed out, mostly to the employees of the contractors that cared for the orbiters and all that came with them. No astronauts from here meant no crew quarters staff, no cooks, and no orbiters to care for. Many had made it their career. Some were close to retirement. The jobs that remained in the area were not close to the salary they needed, nor did they require the skills they had to offer. We mostly forgot because many had to leave the area. Unemployment was at 12%. Foreclosure was imminent again. But slowly we are coming to a new normal. Well, at least before COVID made this launch in particular a challenge. Unemployment numbers were below 4%. Vacant properties have been torn down. Miracle City Mall is now Titus Landing. The old Howard Johnson's is about to be condos. The hotels right off the NASA causeway are new for the area and actually directed toward tourism and, and promoting our space industry. And now the commercial crew program has really come to life with the launch of Bob and Doug, hopefully today, to the International Space Station. Finally is something I have heard from many of our business owners around here. Each milestone mission of Dragon, Starliner, and Orion has brought bigger crowds back to the area. The best I have to offer you at home or watching from the spot you have carved out is that we are also excited for this launch, even though this one's a challenge. Everybody here, we're ready for a party. We hope you visit again when we can really share our history and the excitement of watching crew launch from home. There are passionate volunteers at local museums who would love to bend your ear friendly shopkeepers and restaurateurs who would be happy to see you again. I hope the next time crew launches from home, our new normal will be back to something more familiar. They say love where you live. I say there isn't anywhere else I would rather be.